Welcome back everybody. I have the Blackstone Camping Griddle and I'm in the beautiful foothills of the Colorado Rockies. Let's make a steakhouse smash burger. Prepped everything at home so we should be able to cook, have a great time, and enjoy the scenery. The sun is wrecking havoc on my griddle top here. It's gonna be hard to get a shot, so there we go. I think we're gonna tuck that back into the bed of my truck a little bit. Right thick cut hickory bacon. We're gonna do four burgers, so we're gonna put down plenty of bacon. Flip that bacon early. If you wanna make sure that you don't burn your bacon, then flip it early and often. And I have that new Adventure Ready griddle press made specifically for the camping griddles. One great thing about the camping griddles is they're blazing hot, so we need to go way, way down to low. Bacon looking really good. I don't want it to burn, that's my Biggest fear when I'm cooking bacon. I'm gonna leave the pieces that aren't quite done on the bottom. I'm gonna put the pieces that are done a little more well on the top. Put that griddle press on top for another minute or two. If the bacon looks burned, it kind of ruins the whole image. So we're gonna be really careful with the bacon. Oh yeah, perfecto. Looks just about perfect. Gorgeous color. We'll let that bacon stay warm in the Colorado sun. And like I said, I'm not messing around today. I prepped everything at home. 80, 20 ground chuck. Made these into little three ounce meatballs at the house. Straight down on the blazing hot griddle top. Little parchment paper and we'll use that griddle press, make those nice and flat. Hit that up with some Blackstone Steakhouse seasoning. Give them a flip. Oh yeah, baby. The sear you get on the camping griddles is next level. These are perhaps the hottest burning griddles Blackstone makes. Smokehouse cheddar and Colby pepper jack. Two different types of cheese on each burger. These will be doubles. Onions diced at home along with mushroom. Hickory liquid smoke. Bacon looking nice. We're gonna go ahead and cut that in two. We'll stack the patties. We'll try to alternate the cheese. Let's load these up with bacon. We're using the Artisano brioche buns today. No shame, we're putting these right on the tailgate. A Little bit of mayo on the inside of each. Let's give those a quick toast. Ooh yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo on those heels. Shredded up some green leaf lettuce at home. I needed some color contrast and I wanted a fresh twist for these. Grab my first patty stack down on top of my bun. My smokehouse onions and mushrooms look killer. Picked up some barbecue sauce at the grocery store. Bourbon barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, looking good in the hood. I have my crown sitting over here in a toasted holding pattern. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. Can't wait to dive into these mushrooms, onions, and that steakhouse flavor. All right, let's toast them. Let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. 
Reminds me of going to a steakhouse and having a burger. I'll get this recipe up at blackstoneproducts.com. Try that killer trick with the liquid smoke. It is next level. You do it in onions, do it in mushrooms, do it in mushrooms and onions. I've even mixed the liquid smoke into my ground beef before. Thanks for watching everybody. Please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you're watching all the shows on the Blackstone Network. And from here in the beautiful foothills of the Colorado Rockies, me and my boys, we're saying praise the Lord and pass the Steakhouse Smash Burgers. Mm -hmm.